What is going on? I don't know whether to be confused, happy, I, I actually have no clue how to feel right now. So if you've been living under a rock, you won't know that Gran Turismo got a huge update. And this car, out of every single car on planet Earth, got added to Gran Turismo. Out of all the cars. So for those that don't know, I have a bit of a history with Suzuki's. I crashed my first one after not too long. And I'm currently on my second one. And those two are actually the only two cars I've ever... Uh, that is so weird. I've sat in that car. And out of all the cars in the world they could have added, you know, they could have added in, I don't know, a Focus RS. A Focus RS actually might already be in the game. But you know what I mean. They could have added in so many other cars. But they decided to add in a Suzuki Swift Sport. As well as that, they've also added in the R32 in this update. They might as well have just called this the Hippo Pack, to be quite honest. But I think you already know what we're going to do today. We're going to mess around with this new DLC because Gran Turismo has got a huge patch today. We've got a, a, we've got a new single player component that comes along with the game, which we're going to go ahead and mess around with. Um, we've got a whole bunch of new cars. There's a whole bunch of things which have been added in this game. So what we're going to go ahead and do firstly is buy this car. Now, sadly, I don't have the sport variant um i was actually thinking about like ages ago about getting them one of these instead um but for, for, for reasons it just didn't happen my car is silver so we're gonna buy it and this is weird this is so weird i'm literally buying a suzuki swift in gran turismo as if it were mine this is some like weird shit look at it look at the reflections that's that's basically my car now you're probably wondering cam why have you why have you even bothered buying that? Isn't that like pointless? No, my friends. As we can see here under the campaign segment, we have GT League. Now these other three sections are part of the vanilla campaign, and people had a problem with it, funnily enough. I didn't have a problem with it. I thought it was quite good. Um, people kind of were crying for the old Gran Turismo solo, you know, mode back, and that's basically what this is. Look at that screen and tell me that doesn't remind you of old Gran Turismo. If you say that it doesn't remind you of old Gran Turismo, you're lying to yourself. You played yourself. We're obviously going to start in beginner league because I haven't actually messed around with any of this. And we're going to go into the Sunday Cup because that's where we can drive my Swift Sport. Whether I'm going to be competitive in it, I don't know because I imagine this is quite a low-end car. Um, we're going we're to see anyway. Now, we're not going to do that first race. I don't fancy going around a circle for six laps. Instead, we're going to go straight to Suzuka and get our willy dirty. Is it even going to be competitive? I don't know. I actually genuinely have no clue. Right, we're just going to press X anyway and hope for the best. Now, I'm an idiot because it quite clearly said that this was an N400 race. But because my mic was in the way and my tripod was in the way, I didn't see that. So, yeah, you're going to see me very confused for the duration of this video. Oh, my Lord. It's got decals on the side like it's a race day. This is like actually the trippiest thing I think I've ever seen. Right, so here we go. I'm not sure whether we're even going to be competitive in this mode because I'm pretty sure I, that's a GT86 in front of us. I'm like 100% convinced that is, that is an 86. Right, what's switch camera? There it is. Oh my lord. This is weird. The, well, this is the model that I crashed. So seeing that interior for the first time ever since I crashed, this is weird. And it's right hand drive. What the fuck is this game trying to say to me? I saw the airbag come out of that steering wheel. What the fuck? How on earth we are currently overtaking GTA 6s right now? I have no clue. I honestly, I actually genuinely have no clue what's going on right now, but we are actually doing quite well. And can I just say, Gran Turismo is very much setting a precedent with this mode. I just want to say that because, again, I, I don't see any excuses for microtransactions or DLCs when they are adding in modes like this for free. Now, granted, they've already got the tracks and they've already got all that kind of stuff, but I'm pretty that like eight or ten cars, maybe it might, it might be twelve cars, have been added for free in this game. There is no excuse on God's earth these companies should be mil milking and diming us when this is happening. I'm driving my own car in this game. Out of all the, I still don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. I've still got to try the R32 as well. My one! Gran Turismo will honestly go down as one of the best races this year, in my opinion. Although it has been stripped from content, you know, from the other games. What has been stripped back has been refined and polished, and it is, in my opinion, the most polished game I have played this year, period. Not even racing game, it's the most polished game, period. They spent their time, but Jesus Christ, they have really, honestly, like, perfected a Gran Turismo game. I'm not going to sit here and lie and say things, I, I wish there were certain things in this game, because there's, there's always going to be things which you want to see in games, but they've done a pretty good job of 
ticking all most of those boxes. I'm like getting PTSD flashbacks by looking at the fucking steering wheel. And for those that don't know, I've got the generation after this car. So this is the first time I've literally seen that interior since I fucking totaled mine. This is weird. It hasn't even got Bluetooth. Right. Uh, we, it seems that we, that we finished second. Which honestly is, isn't what I was hoping for, to be quite frank. But in the meantime, I'm not going to do that in this in this video. I'm going to do this in my spare time. I'm going to go through all of this in my spare time, to be quite honest. I want to go ahead ha go ahead and have a look at the cars. Yeah, my car was handicapped. What's going on? Now, I, I want to go look at the R32. We're not going to customize it in this video, and we're not going to do anything like that. But I just want to have a look at it, and I just want to see it, because this is all ridiculous to me. I want to look at the, all the new cars, to be quite frank. Even, like, even the menu music. What? What? Gang, gang. Right, so let's go ahead and have a gander at the new cars. Now, I've had a look at some of them already. Um, so some of them might already be like, it might, it might not say new above their name, but I have actually gone through the cars already. So we've got Volkswagen and we've got Samba. That's so random. I get it. Gran Turismo needs more random cars. But that's weird. weird. Ferrari. Okay, so we have an F40 in here, which is cool to see. Again, another classic Gran Turismo car. I remember seeing this in GT5's trailers. Tra trailers. And an Enzo. Again, that is really that's really cool. Relevant cars as well, may I add. These aren't pointless cars that have been added to the game. These are relevant cars. Those are two cars which I wanted to see. Is that a Kuntash? Again, another relevant car. It seems like the cars they have ha they have handpicked for this DLC are wide in spectrum but relevant. Minus the Swift. That I don't know why that's in this game. Like I'm gonna continue saying that during this video. We've got KTMs and we've got Bugattis. I'm not gonna bother going on those because I don't really have any interest in them. Ford, what's new to Ford? A Raptor. Again, like relevant. There's dirt in this game. There's dirt rally tracks in this game. Relevant car. Stingray. They added a Stingray to the game. Again, relevant. Classic cars. Makes sense. If you're going to add a single player mode, you need more classic cars. So that makes sense. In hindsight, even the Swift Sport makes sense in that regard. Because they've, they've, they've got hatchback tournaments in the single player. So you need more hatchbacks. Swift Sport is a hatchback. R32. R34. Again, relevant. And older cars, which are needed more of in the game. Two of the most iconic Nissans of all time. Can you see where I'm going with this? FD RX7. Again, adds to what I just said a minute ago. Relevant. It's not like Forza, where they add cars which you can't even use. The All the cars I've seen so far, I'm pretty sure, have a purpose and a place in this game. And then obviously we come back around to my Suzuki. I'm honestly shocked that A, these cars are free, and B, they're, they're so relevant. I can see why people would get annoyed at the fact a Swift Sport's in the game. And naturally, I'm going to be biased because that is my car. But you can't sit here and say it doesn't make any sense with this new GT League. You just can't say that. Now, obviously, I haven't unlocked the bottom two because I'm assuming you'd have to get some wins and you'd have to level up. But I just want to have a look what's in here. So you've got the TT trophy, which is just Audi TTs. Again, you're going to have that problem because the car list is relatively small. Boxer Spirit, FR Challenge, Four Wheel Drive, Clubman Cup. Again... All of these are names that you will know of if you've played Gran Turismo, and it makes complete sense to have the cars which I've talked about in these modes. And it gives people like me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take my R32 in this mode, and I'm going to tune it and make it eligible for this thing. And in the next video, we're gonna do exactly that. I just, it just, it just honestly baffles me. It really, really does. In my own time, I'm going to get all of this beginner league done. We're going to go on to the amateur league in the next video. And we're going to get my R32. And I'm going to show you guys why I am a pro racing driver. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. You guys have been awesome. Stay safe and peace.